This is the world's thinnest fast wireless charger. It's made by a company called Carved and they sent me this ahead of its launch to test it out. However, I'm not being paid to make this video, nor will they be receiving an advanced copy of this video. They'll be seeing it at the same time you are. So the first thing you'll notice about this is just how thin it is. For perspective, it's just a hair thicker than two quarters stacked on top of each other and almost exactly the same thickness as four credit cards stacked on top of each other. Not only that, it also covers the same surface area as a credit card as well. You probably already noticed that the cable is also permanently attached. That's actually one of the only ways they can make the charger this thin. Just for perspective, here's a USB-C connector. As you can see, there's no way they'd be able to get this connector in there without making this thicker. Fortunately, Carved did make this a very durable connection. They actually have a picture on their website of someone hanging a 10 pound weight from this and the cable is not breaking off. So you can put a lot of force on this and not have to worry about pulling this out. A very unique feature about this charger is that this is actually real wood and this is resin here, all the coloring there. So the fact that this is real wood means that every single charger is 100% unique. And if you go on their website, you don't just order one of these chargers, you actually pick from all of the different available ones that they have. So you see the exact pattern for the one that you're gonna be getting. And they have lots of different colors as well. This here is a dark blue, but they also have like a light blue, red, green, white, lots of different colors. So if you're not a big fan of the blue, check them out on the website and you'll see a lot of different options available. Another cool feature about this resin is that if you kind of turn it in the light, it actually kind of shines a bit and you get slightly different colors as you rotate it. And hopefully I'm kind of picking that up on the camera for you guys. So we've established that this is a cool looking ultra thin wireless charger, but how well does it work? Carved claims that it's a 15 watt wireless charger and that's mostly true. The Pixel 4 XL does charge at its full 11 watt wireless charging rate and the iPhone 11 Pro Max also charges at its full seven and a half watt wireless charging rate. However, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus only charges at 7.5 watts instead of the 15 watts that it's capable of. Now, I'm assuming that's just because Samsung has a much tighter requirement for fast wireless charging due to the Note 7 debacle. Samsung definitely doesn't want to take any more chances with batteries catching fire again. So if you want the full 15 watt charging on a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, then I recommend getting Samsung's official 15 watt charger. It may not look as cool as this carved charger, and it'll be a whole lot bigger, but at least you'll get your 15 watt wireless charging. So there's two things to remember if you want to get the most out of a 15 watt wireless charger. The first is you need to have a compatible phone. And the second is the charging brick that plugs into the wall needs to support at least 18 watts. Now the reason for that is that wireless charging is not terribly efficient. So you need a higher wattage output from the wall in order to get 15 watts to your phone. If you don't have an 18 watt wall adapter and you need to buy one, I highly recommend this one from Rav Power. It has two USB ports on the side capable of outputting 18 watts each simultaneously for a total of 36 watts of output power. It has retractable power prongs to make it easy for traveling. It's super well built. It definitely feels really premium. And best of all, it's incredibly inexpensive. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I do have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description. And if you use that link, I do get a small kickback at no extra cost to you. So if you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. As far as cases go, you can actually put on some pretty thick cases and not have any problems with wireless charging at all. Let's go ahead and add a stack of post-it notes on the back here and see if that still works. Yep, sure enough, still works, and that is fast charging wirelessly. So as you can see, we're getting pretty thick here on the back, and there's no problems whatsoever with wireless charging. Let's try to take this to its limits now. We've got 10 playing cards, about 50 post-it notes, and a Spigen Tough Armor case on a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Let's go ahead and drop this on and see if we can get it to start charging. There you go, charging wirelessly right there. Now, as you can see, it's not fast charging wirelessly anymore. It's just regular speed wireless charging. So that's something that's very important to keep in mind. The fastest charging is when the phone is closest to the charger and the further away you get from the charger, the slower the charging is going to get. So basically, if you have a super thick case on, you're still going to get pretty fast charging. It's just not going to be quite as fast as if you didn't have that case on. 
Something else that's important to keep in mind with wireless charging, and this is true for all wireless chargers in general, anything that's magnetic or metal can interfere with the electromagnetic field that's generated by the charger and stop your phone from charging. So basically, if you have a phone case that has a bunch of credit cards in the back, or you have one of those metal rings to kind of put your finger in to hold the phone a little bit easier, that may make it so that this charger doesn't work that well or doesn't work at all. But again, that's true for all wireless chargers. Another important detail is that this cable is one meter long, which is about three feet. And that's definitely long enough for most situations, but I feel like sometimes it's just long enough and I'd prefer to have at least an extra half a foot to a foot. That said, if you do need more room, you can just get a USB extension cable. However, I highly recommend going with a USB 3.0 extension cable to make sure that it can handle the power output. Otherwise, you may end up getting slower charge speeds. If you want to get an extension cable, I do have a link to a USB 3.0 certified one in the description, and it's actually relatively inexpensive. The last very important detail about this cable is actually the connector itself. One of the ways that Carved was able to make this so thin was actually by putting a lot of the electronics in this connector, which is actually quite impressive. However, one of the byproducts of that is that this connector does get pretty hot when you're charging a phone. It's not so hot that something's gonna catch fire if it touches it, but it's definitely pretty hot. That said, most of the heating up happens within the first 10 minutes of charging something, and then it doesn't seem to get any hotter after that. The difference between how hot this was after 10 minutes of charging versus two hours of charging was minimal at best. So it gets hot, but then it doesn't just keep getting hotter. You'll also notice that there's this little adjustable sleeve here. This is because there's a little LED on the inside right here that tells you when the phone is charging. Now, granted, this is gonna be plugged into the wall, likely underneath your desk, so you're probably never gonna see this anyway. And to be honest, this light is so dim that unless the lights are off, you're not gonna see it. So this isn't terribly useful, but it doesn't really matter because whenever you put your phone on the charger, your phone itself is gonna tell you whether or not it's charging. So if you just wanna cover that LED, just push this sleeve forward and you won't see it at all. And now the price, $59 and free shipping in the US. So my question to you is this, do you think having the world's thinnest charger with a completely unique wooden design is worth almost $60 when you could get a larger, cheaper, but effective fast wireless charger for about $20? Either way, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys wanna pick one of these up, I will have a link down in the description that takes you to Carved's website. And as always guys, like it if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe for more in-depth tech videos. And while you're at it, smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when the videos drop. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.